You know, it doesn't really seem like this whole pandemic thing is slowing down the K-pop world. It's like new group after new group, new song after new song coming out the past couple weeks. And this is one that I missed. I think they came out back in May, a new group called Secret Number. I've heard of them for sure, but I did a little research before diving into this video uh, for a song called Who This? But uh, so many multicultural members. We have K-pop's first Indonesian member. We have two Korean Americans. The leader is Japanese. And then there's one good old full-blooded Korean in the group. So very multicultural group, you know, gonna be able to speak a lot of different languages. Hopefully it extends their reach in the K-pop world. But uh, yeah, so I know some of the members just by looking at their K-pop profile, I think I'll be able to pick some of them out in the video. But um, yeah, let's just hop into it and see what they sound like. Secret number with Hootis. I'm just gonna start out this video with this. We're gonna put a blockade on the import of K-pop legs. I'm going to be the one to spearhead this initiative and it's gonna happen soon because people are just not coming down. I like this instrumental, funky, like jazzy uh, saxophone. Oh, was that just like a, that was just like a little intro? Secret entrance, it says in the background. So this is a completely new company. Fine Entertainment, I think. Ooh. Love how colorful it is. That's what I like. And, you know, in the world of really hard-hitting, uh, you know, tons of girl crush uh, concepts, I love... Um, a group that can be both cutesy and sassy, but also the videos stay true to K-pop and be really colorful like this. I love that. Ooh. Nice pre-chorus. Is that Sudam? This is Jinhee, correct? Oh, wow. I love their outfits. This is the Magne, right? She can sing, man. Wow. Also, one thing I like about this group is that outside of the Magne, they all seem older for a rookie uh, group. I think the oldest member was born in 95 or whatever. It's good news for me. I like that. Are they supposed to be in a Five Guys in that one scene? That's... Hida? Oh. Come on. I mean, I try time and time again with these groups, with these groups that I don't know about. Or I try to not let the rapper get to me, and it's just... It's not going to happen. Like, it's going to... I mean, it's going to happen every time. Every time. You can tell she can speak complete fluent English and she's maybe a native English speaker. For sure. You could hear it in her voice. Ooh, that was good. I love you could pick out like the longer I listen, I've been listening to K-pop, I've been able to, but you can pick out like the little bits of their accents uh, in their vocals. Chicago? Why Chicago? She looks a little bit like a baby-faced Jenny from Blackpink here. Ooh, that's sick. Those those neon lights. Into that. That's awesome. Oh man, her in the white pants, man. I cannot do it. This is this supposed to be a five guys? They have, you know, five because there's five members. But it's a hamburger place, red and white. Has five in it. I'm, I'm assuming they're they're uh 
doing a little parody of Five Guys. Dude, the Magna can sing in this group. She's very recognizable, very soft face. Ooh, dance break? They're all very recognizable. Dry off, please. I love her voice. Their outfits are amazing. This is the part. This is, as they would call, the killing part, yeah? Oh, like, look, the hip movements with this little catchy, sassy rap that she has going on. <sighs> that denim outfit wouldn't work on anyone else but you. Oof. Super, super catchy. Man, that's a good debut. That was really, really catchy. It gave me like a... I don't know. Like... Maybe if Momo Land was like a bit more... Uh, not one notey with their title tracks. And with maybe like the new style that Cherry Bullet is going up with hands up. Uh, maybe like a little more sassy, a little bit more girl crushy, but still saying cute and catchy like this song is. That's what it kind of reminds me of. I really liked it. I love how all the members are really recognizable. I like how they're all multicultural. I'm hoping then that extends their reach because, you know, fans love to support uh, members from their own country. So I'm sure Indonesia is going crazy over Dita, right? That's the Indonesian member. Um, so yeah, that was really, really good. Great debut. Interested in seeing what they've got next, especially for a new company. I never know what they're gonna, you know, what they're gonna go with after this or what concept they're gonna follow. So I'm interested in, you know, following them as they find their identity. So uh, if you like this video, please like it down below. If you're interested in more videos, I do a lots of different groups and I'm sure I'll be following up on Secret Number when they have their next comeback because this was back in May. So who knows? If they wanna follow up on this success because Man, this video I think has like 20 million views almost, and for a rookie group in, what, less than two months? That's wild numbers. That's really, really good, especially from a brand new company. They're probably going to do some big things. So please subscribe down below, and I'll, you know, keep tabs on what they're going to do. Recommend me new songs, recommend me new groups. There's a lot that I have to listen to, and I will catch you in the next video.